guys, Nina here. Check out these amazing creations. Wish you could make stuff like this? Well, now you can with the awesome Pottery Cool Studio. And I'm gonna give you all the tips and tricks you need to get started. Now that's cool. Welcome back to Now That's Cool. I'm Nina, and this is the Pottery Cool Studio from Spin Master. It's a whole new way to create with clay, and I'm going to give you tons of tips and tricks so that you can make awesome clay creations. Oh, and make sure if you have long hair, you put it up so it doesn't get in the clay. Let's get started. The first thing you need to do is lay down a newspaper or a plastic sheet on the table. We want to make sure cleanup is nice and easy. Next, install the batteries. Place them in on the spring side first to make it easier. Next, line up the screws with the holes. You also want to make sure your spray bottle is filled with water and in the on position. Having the proper thickness for your clay is super important. We're going to take the tip of the knife and press it into your clay. Then you're going to measure with your thumb to see how thick it is. Great, you want to have this much distance. If you end up with a small hole, don't worry. Patching it up is super easy. Just take a little extra clay and press it onto the area that needs it. Add a little water if it's not going on smoothly. Don't worry, it'll blend in. No one wants a lumpy creation. I totally get it. Just smooth it out with your fingers. Perfect. Let's say you're in the middle of sculpting and this happens. I know it looks bad, but it's totally fixable. Press the edge of the sculpting tool gently against the mistake and it'll smooth right out. If you need to trim the clay, there's a trick to getting it just right, and I'm gonna show you how. Start by turning the machine to one, then brace your hand against the edge of the Pottery Cool Studio and gently press the tip of the knife tool onto the clay. Make sure you press straight down. Perfect! All right, it's time to remove the cork. A good tip is to use your thumb to brace against the rubber sleeve and jiggle out the cork. Next, we're gonna remove the sleeve. Go around the rim, lifting it up, and then pinch in the middle to pull it out. Let's say you want to create a hole in your project, which can be a very cool effect. Just use the slanted edge of the coring tool and twist into the clay slowly to create a hole. Make sure you don't go too fast. Then, dip your fingers into some water and smooth out the edges. It's time to take your clay creations to the next level. There's lots of fun ways you can make patterns in your creations. Check these out! Just press into the clay and create the design. You can also roll the tool holder onto the side like this. Here are some other things I use to make designs. What about you? Want to see something really cool? Watch this! It creates an amazing result and it's so easy to do. Just turn the machine on and gently press the tip of the sculpting tool against the side of your creation. So cool! Let's say you have two pieces of clay that you want to stick together. Well, that didn't work. Let me show you the secret. We're going to start by scoring both sides of the clay with the knife tool like this. And now this side. Now press the heart to the clay, and that'll join them together. Oh man, my clay dried up. Good thing I know how to wet it again. Start by collecting all the little bits of clay and put them into a resealable bag. Next, wet it. In a few hours, check back and your clay should be nice and soft. If the clay is completely dried out or you want to recycle an old project, break it into smaller bits and soak them in a container of water overnight. Drain the excess water and work the clay into a ball. Voila! Now that your creation is done and looking great, it's time to wait for it to dry. But if you're like me, you probably hate waiting. Not to worry, we can speed things up a bit. Just put your finished creation onto something where the air can really get to it. 
I'm putting mine in front of a fan. It really helps. See, ready in no time. Now that I've created this super cute jewelry holder, I feel like it's missing something. I think it would be much cuter if it was purple, don't you? Open the paint container by pinching the handles together. Make sure to give the paint a stir. And if it's too thick, you can take a pinch of water. Thanks so much for watching. I hope my tips and tricks were helpful. Make sure to check out my other videos and comment with your own tips and tricks. Now that's cool.